Welcome one, welcome all. We are back and... Um... People came home, so I had to stop it early and go save. So that's why I cut off so abruptly. But we are starting again. We're in the Kiliko Edlin Village Place area. And I'm using my new, um... My new, um... Sound... Speaker... Computer boom boom... Ch Choyix speaker things on my PS2. Because it can connect to anything that can, like, use USB and stuff. And I use, like, this little cord thing. And I connect it to the TV and it goes, like, to PS... And it, and it powers on and stuff. And... I mix it, and I can actually like move it around and stuff, so you're probably gonna hear better audio from the game, even though I'm not using that game audio directly for now to dazzle. Anyway, yeah, let's continue on. Yes. A cutscene's coming on. I can tell. Oh, cutscene! I called it. Balloon. You're okay. Eat that balloon. Everyone's so amazed by the kid with the balloon. All's well that ends well, right? So it's done. Hey. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's that guy, Sparfello. And he's running. Seen Donna, have you? Everyone's here except her. Oh yeah, I saw. Um, I guess she's not coming. I saw a lot of her before. Aww. Aww. He's got. I was afraid of that. He's got three hot babes sitting in front of him, and he's worried about right. Donna. A balloon. No, oh, she turned into a balloon. Catch her! Oh, he missed. Can we jump down as well? No. What the hell just happened? I'm not even gonna go. I'm just gonna go keep on going and see what's over here. That was weird. I think she turned into a balloon. That's kind of weird. No. Mmm. I'm eating some Reese's minis. They are very good. Only cost three eighty nine. Actually, that's a lot of money. I don't know. That's a lot of money, but you know, it is worth it. Mega potion. Mega potion. <laughs> oh, I was choked on some. Oh God. X potion. Mmm, X potion. It tastes like diabetes. I wasn't talking to you, bitch. I don't care about your balloon. How come his text? He was saying how it was such a he when he said it was such a delight. His text moved for no reason. I don't know why it did that. That's kind of weird. Mm. I don't think there's anything here. There's nothing here last time. Oh wait, yeah, never mind. I don't. What am I talking about? There was plenty of stuff last time. Down. It's down. Let's get down to the temple. Down. Down. How can I say what the fate awaits you behind this door? Wait, there's something beyond this door? Oh, shit. I haven't played this game in so long. It's like fucking... September 18th, 2011, Sunday evening, 5 o'clock, 5.11 right now. I have not played this game in so long, really. It's been a long time since I, since I was at this part, so I don't really remember what happened. I think this is part where you fight an Aeon, or you fight Barfello, or not Barfello, but, um, Barilai. I'm not even sure anymore. I, I just don't know. What is this? I don't remember that happening. So this must be a new area. Shit. Oh yeah, this is the part you fight the Aeon. You 
can't and jump through the hole. Not that I really wanted to, but I just find it kind of weird that you can't jump through the hole. Creepy. It's like some Harry Potter shit right there. I was like, what is in that locked door in a department of mysteries? Nobody really knows. Word of God, though, says that it's actually a fountain of Amortentia, which is a love potion. Yes, that's, that's what... I don't know, though. I don't really try to trust the internet too much. <laughs> finally, <laughs> some news has been trying to hold back, but I can't hold back anymore. I finally finished the Harry Potter series. I finally finished reading those that series. Like, I'm so happy now. Because I remember every time, like, when the Deathly Hollows came out, like, like, let's, let's just, let me tell you what happened, like, a few years ago, like, 2007, I guess, 2008, I read Half-Blood Prince, and then, you know, I had the Deathly Hollows, like, my mom actually, like, um, bought me the Deathly Hollows, but she didn't actually buy me Half-Blood Prince, she only read it from the library at the time, so I didn't actually have the book, but I sent it back, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna read all the books in the series, and I'm gonna go back and read Deathly Hollows. That's what I vowed to do before I actually read the book. And then in the middle of like book two, something happened. I don't know. If, I guess I just didn't feel like reading anymore that much anymore and stuff. So I stopped reading in the middle of Deathly Hollows. And I was back in like 2008, I think. And it wasn't until like very recently that like 2011 I actually started reading again, and then finally had to finish that and go for the rest of the series, pretty much. Okay, yeah, that's my head spins. I hope you. I hope your head spins off, bitch. <laughs> So I finally finished that, finally finished all the six books, and then, you know, it took me like three, three, three years to read, because I keep like this little, like, um, this little, like, chart down on every single book, like, how long, when I start reading it and when I stop reading it, and usually it takes me like, you know, maybe like a couple of months, depending on what's going on in my life at the time. Sometimes I mean, it might take like a week, it really depends, but it took me, I looked at Chamber of Secrets the other day, and it took me how long to read a book, it, it was approximately like... More than three years, I'm like, oh my god, it's like only a 400-page book. It shouldn't take that long to read a book, but I guess somewhere along the line, you know, I just stopped reading and stuff, and then didn't do much else besides play video games or whatever else I did besides reading, but finally finished the series, got Red Deathly Hollows. Oh my god, just, wow. Motorcycle! Ugh, I need to close my window. But I'm glad I got finally get to finish it, and... Because I remember I used to be like... I can't even, like, watch videos of Harry Potter about, like, videos on YouTube of, like, bloopers or deleted scenes of other movies or something or anything related to Harry Potter about someone saying some kind of shit and stuff, like, someone says something about, alright, this is gonna be spoiled, from this point on, it's gonna be spoiled by Harry Potter, so, I'm gonna leave an annotation so that you, anybody who hasn't read it yet, like me, up to this point, they can at least, like, you know, spare themselves. <laughs> but somebody said something about Fred dying in the book. And I was like, oh. And they said that Wormtail apparently killed him by crushing Fred with his own hand. With his, with his um, metal hand thing. I'm like, what? And I'm sitting there reading a book, and then you get to the part where Wormtail kills himself with his hand. And I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't seem right. It seemed very wrong, actually. And then you get to the part where Fred actually does die, sadly. One of the saddest parts in the book, really, but... Yeah. <laughs> it actually does die, and then... It's like during the Battle of Hogwarts. And so many other people... So many other little tits and bits and... Bits and pieces were, like, spoiled and stuff, but... Some of the parts are really inaccurate, like... Somebody said something about, like... I don't know, some... People just say stuff on the internet so much, and I just learned to like to like, to like not trust the internet as much anymore. Because <coughs> they give you so much false info, or just say a bunch of stupid shit and stuff, and, and it's like fan fiction as well. Fan fiction, I don't really like. Like, it's just ridiculous because so many freaking fan fiction writers and stuff like they don't like what's they don't like what's coming from the source material, so they like make their own fan fiction, and then like try to make that as canon or make it true and then they see that as what really happened but that did not happen the source material happened read if read the seven harry potter books you know th that's what happened okay that that is what happened not not harry married hermione and then ron got eaten by a bugbear and hermione like 
died. That's not what happened. Oh man, but I'm, I'm just so happy I finally got to finish reading. It's like my favorite series, reading series of all time. Like, and I finally finished it. And where the hell is Don and Barfello? Am I supposed to find him, or is it just like not important? Let me go search around some more. Let us search. And what else happened? You know, you know what I find it definitely hollows was this whole time. I don't know why. Maybe just because I'm, st maybe just because I was slightly retarded at the time. But I thought the Deathly Hollows was like gonna be like a forest or something. Like that's why I seriously thought I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I didn't really know what a hollow was. So I'm like Deathly Hollows. That sounds like it could be a forest. I don't know why I thought that though. That seems like the most stupidest thing at the time, at the mo at right now. Like I thought Deathly Hollows would be like this place. And then they talk about Godric's Hollow, which is spelled with an O. And I'm thinking, huh, you're gonna go, you're gonna end up going back to Godric's Hollow, where Harry was born and where his parents were killed? <gasps> that must mean that Godric's, at this point, Voldemort's taken over the whole entire, pretty much taken over the whole entire wizard world. It's probably, God, De Deathly Hollows must be what Godric Hollow has become. And, well, Deathly Hollows is technically technically it's there in Godric's Hollow, but it has nothing to do with a forest. It has nothing to do with a place. Deathly Hollows is not a place, it's not a person, it's not a forest, it's 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 free objects, pretty much. I I'm okay I'm gonna try to keep as I'm trying to say as spoiler free as possible in case I ever do do like a let's play the whole entire Harry Potter series, which I'm I might do. Cause I don't know, I just like the Harry Potter series and stuff like It's like one of my favorite books. I only I only read too many books though. Like I read like Resident Evil books, I read the Harry Potter series, I've read the I read Brian Jacques um Red Wall series before and stuff. I don't really read too many books. But uh, one of the few books I do read is Harry Potter. And it's gonna stay that way for a very long time. Just because it's over now, just because it's probably not gonna be um you know like a, new ex, like a Generation X thing or anything like that, you know, just because of that doesn't mean I'm going to stop reading the books. Doesn't mean I'm going to start reading fan fiction either, but, you know, I, I'm just... It's just crazy, though. Like, so many things are revealed, but at the same time, so many things are still kept in the dark, like... Like what I said when I first started talking about Harry Potter in this video, like, what is kept in an apartment? What is that locked room? But apparently it's Amortentia, and that's what the power of love is supposed to be, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I kind of I don't know. I don't know what I thought was gonna be in there, but I don't know. And so many characters, I could a, a shit ton of characters appear in the book, but there's a shit ton of characters that don't appear as well. Like, you know, we don't know what happened to Croakshanks. I guess it's not too important, but I don't know. You figure you find out. <laughs> Yeah, let's go there. I want to get some last minute stuff done before I complete the game, finally. Finally! It's been like 70 parts, 72 parts to be exact. About time I finally finish the game. Hey! Hey! It's a boy! You wanna meet him? Not really. Yeah. You know, you're such a, you're such a sweetie. Even though I said no, you said yeah. What if I just disappeared? What happened to Cornelius Fudge? Like, I know he di he disappeared like in the sixth book, but the seventh book he's not even there. I think he died. What happened to Lavender Brown? Like, she got mauled by Fenrir Greyback, and it. it's just like apparently in the movies. This is some more spoilers. I haven't even seen the movie yet, so I I I still avoid spoilers from the movie because the movie's pretty much different. Where the baby at? Was she holding him? I have to talk to Waka. To... Lavender's mauled by Fenrir, and she's like feebly moving, and they like ask if she's dead, and it doesn't really see what happened to her. But in the movie, she dies. The fuck is that in his head? Or 
This is a baby! What do you think? He's cute, yeah? Good thing he don't look like me. Didn't Rika just say he was cute? Look, he's got your mouth. You think so? What's his name? He looks like a baby oh, Weasley. God. I think the calm will end before Waka makes up his mind. Well, you better decide soon. No rushing, yeah? Naming my son is my first important decision as a parent. Da. Becoming a good father requires intense emotional preparation, huh? Da. How long are you planning on preparing? Until, uh, my preparations are done, yeah? Uh. Oh. <laughs> I want to, I want to go talk to Lulu again. That was that was pretty fucked up. Can I make it do the matchmaking? No, I still can't do it. It's like, oh my god, he just he just did it right there and then. Oh my, oh my god. It's a dog, it's Lassie. Yeah, come on, Lassie. Yeah, come on. We're, we're. Yeah. Fuck you too, bitch. This, this is something I heard, but apparently in a movie of Deathly Hollows, it was like a freaking. There's a scene where Voldemort and Harry apparently have like this, um, hand-to-hand -hand combat duel. Like they actually, like Voldemort's beating the shit out of Harry, and I still want to see that. I don't get it. I heard a theory's important. Where is the fairy? I don't even care anymore. I don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know what they're talking about. They're trying to waste my time. No, not really. I was already there. I can't even find that tournament. Of course, it's come. Oh, oh! It's it's the Yagundo bird and his weird-looking friends. Soundless clapping. Where have I heard a song before? Sounds familiar. Wow! Sweet of melody. Oh! It is as if this music delivered the guado from our unhappy fate. I need, to, I need to talk to this guy. Give me Payne's special dress fear. Most of my people decided to forsake Guado Salam. Those of us who remained until the very end eventually tired of our miserable fortune and fled to Makalania. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. With the way together with the woods. Well, that is when we met our musical friends. They too were prepared to fade away with their beloved Makalania woods. Yeah, they're pretty depressing. Yet hearing them perform, I felt a quickening in my blood. I was quite moved. Oh. I could not stand by and let such exquisite music be extinguished. 
damn right you couldn't. After consulting with the other Guado, I decided to bring them home to Guado Salam. Not a single Guado objected. It's been many years since I've seen such solidarity among my people. <sighs> Surely this music was the sound that healed our weary hearts. I need to talk to you. Give me. I am quite aware of Lorenzo's hatred for the Guado. No. If they were to attack tomorrow, I would neither run nor hide. <laughs> if they asked to talk, I would talk. Were they to take my life, I would give it willingly. Hmm, just like Harry. Not the Ronzo. They don't want bloodshed. Right. Because their elders are on top of things. That is auspicious news. The Guado, too, must choose a new leader. What about you? <coughs> Preposterous. I will never be remembered for anything but my service under Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour. His voice changed. Ah! Quit your belly aching! You'd make a fine leader! How's the music playing? You guided us to salvation without any concern for your own safety. You should resolve worthy of a leader. But my strength came from your music. You're wrong. The music only helped you unlock your own inner strength. You, you really think so? Yeah. Work these old bones as best I can for my beloved Guado. If you're ever feeling weary, we'll play a song to make you cheery. Yay! Whoa, what just happened? Oh! Oh, so you just sent me back? Oh, that's bollocks! Oy. That's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, people, I have time to record one more part before I have to go to work. And then who knows the next time we'll be able to record another part of my Let's Play of this Let's Play Final Fantasy X2, but I'll be back in a couple of seconds, in a couple of minutes or something. Alright, see you then.